and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are making the jam jar happiness blanket and we are on week three. We are making a single bed size blanket with the jam jar happiness yarn pack which is still available as a permanent pack on our website. Follow the link in the description box below. The way the project is built is that each week we do 30 rows. These 30 rows are made up of five rows, which we repeat six times. So I'm going to show you the five new rows for week three. Now, do remember you will finish week two in a different color. I think it's teal. Then I finish it in my sampler. I am skipping rows. <laughs> <laughs> I will be doing the first five rows of week three on my sampler and I am wondering whether you are making a sampler as well as your blanket or have you gone straight in for the blanket? Do let me know in the comments down below or post a picture in the Facebook group of your progress. Are you ready for some more crochet fun creating some flowery happiness? I do hope you will enjoy the process and enjoy crocheting. And without further ado, let's get started. So let's get started with week three. Week three is called foxglove. And yeah, foxglove is poisonous. So those flowers were not picked as often and they were lovely to look at, the long, tall, purple flowers. But no, they were not picked to be put in my jam jar because, of course, that would not be, have been a sensible decision. So these were admired from a distance. So let's get started with row one of week three. So that is done in Spring Meadow. So I have my stitch here ready to pull through the new colour. And now we are going to start row one, chain one, turn, and we are going to place a double crochet in each stitch. And as we have the Vs showing from the stitches below, we are just going to be picking up those strands there and working our way all the way to the end of the row. So I'm just coming to the end of row one of week three. So I am doing my last few double crochet. So here is that last one to do. There we go. And I'm keeping this one like this to change the color. So I'm going to cut off my yarn. And the next color is turquoise. So I'm going to pull that through, finishing row one and starting row two. Chain one turn and we are going to do one double crochet in the first stitch then you skip one chain one and in the next stitch you are going to do a double crochet skip one chain one double crochet in the next skip one chain one double crochet in the next. So we're doing a boxes row. So this is how you will continue until the end of your row. just completing my last box so I place a double crochet there in the stitch before the end stitch and of course now I need to do that second double crochet to finish the row so you will end your row in two double crochets but that's fine to do so this is the boxes row row two of week three cut off your yarn and the next color is sea green so let's pull that one through 
and get started with C green. So we finish row two and now we are going to get started on row three. First of all, of course, you chain one, you turn and double crochet in that very first stitch. There we go. So to get started, we are going to do a chain one. Then we start our repeat of two double crochets together, chain one. But you are going to get started between these ones here and we're going to be working in the boxes. So let me explain. So yarn over to do a double crochet in between those two double crochets. Don't finish your double crochet. Then start a new stitch into the next box. And now we are going to finish our stitch. Then we do a chain one. So yarn over, do your first double crochet ready for finishing it later on. Yarn over into the next box for another double crochet, yarn over, do your together or finish the stitches and do a chain one. So yarn over to do your double crochets together. So each double crochet is placed in a different box, yarn over, finish your two double crochets and chain one. So this is how you are going to continue all along your row. So when you get to the end of the row, you continue doing your two double crochets together. You chain one. And then you place a double crochet in that last stitch. Of course, we're not finishing it because we are cutting it off to change the color. Now we are going to be using cinnamon. There we go. So pull through the cinnamon. Finishing the row and off we go doing a row four, chain one, turn, one double crochet in the first stitch, then one double crochet in the first chain space. So that means here because we did a chain one here. So a double crochet in there. And then you do the rest of the row, you do two double crochets in each chain space, bar the last one where you will be doing one again. So now we're doing two double crochets in each chain space all along your row. My last two double crochets in the chain space here. Now I have a chain space right in front of that double crochet so that's where I'm going to put one double crochet. Then into the last stitch for just another double crochet where we are going to change colour. So I'm going to not pull through the last pull through, cut my yarn and now we're ready to start using koala. We're going to pull it through, finishing row four, starting row five with a chain one. We turn, we do a double crochet in the first stitch. So now we are ready to start our repeat for the row. So we are going to skip one, this stitch here. And working in the next stitch, you are going to place a V stitch there, which means one double crochet, one chain and one double crochet. There we go. Then we skip two and we do a V stitch in the third stitch. 
skip two, working in the third for a double crochet, chain one and a double crochet. And this is how you continue all along your row. Just doing my last V stitch here. This leaves me now with two stitches on the end here so I'm going to skip one and do a double crochet in the last one and of course this is how I leave it so I can continue like that with my new collar. So this week we have done row one double crochets Row two, we are doing boxes. Row three, we are doing A stitches, each in a box. Row four, we are doing dainty clusters, really, but they are just the double crochets into the chain spaces of our A stitches. And then on top of that, we are doing V stitches. So when you come to place row one, on top of row five in week three. I'm just going to show you how to do that so you know how to negotiate the stitches here. So the color for row 66 is turquoise. So I'm going to pull that through and I'm going to start doing my chain turn. And of course now I have to place a double crochet in each stitch. So you start as usual with placing your double crochet in the first stitch. And then you will see that you have a stitch here. So I'm just going to place one in there. Then you have the chain space. So I'm going to go round it. Then I have two stitches which I can use to go into. So that's what I'm going to do. So a double crochet into each stitch. Then I go around the chain space. So into the two next stitches, then around the chain space. And this is how you continue all along your row. sequence of rows another five times so you have a total for 30 rows for week three. I hope you are enjoying the process. You already know what I'm going to say. Make sure you follow the link in the description box to take you to my blog post with the written pattern and the list of colors. Also check the key of course. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!